Yo! Okay, little little follow on from tech series. Um, solar panels. So we rely on these puppies um, a lot because we have, on the boat, we purely have um, a big bank of car batteries, 12 volts, four of them, um, in parallel, so they basically act as one single big 12 volt battery and everything runs off that and we don't have 240 volts. So these are pretty much bog standard panels, got these off eBay for 60 quid, 60 quid, 60 quid. This one was more expensive but they're the same. Um, and you've got 120 watt here, 120 watts, 120 watts. So that's to get your wattage 12 volts times the amount of amps they kick out is how powerful they are. You'll never actually get 120 watt but you know close, close to that. So on a day like this, nice and sunny, they're all getting um, near maximum output and these totally cover all of our needs, fridge, navigation, lights, the whole lot, um, with quite a lot of redundancy to spare. So by 10am we're pretty much topped up with everything. Um, and yeah, so for the last two weeks we've been totally self-sufficient self on these. And I will go down and then I will show you how we rig them up. Okay, so you can see the panels up there. We mount them super high so there's nothing shading them because solar panels are really finickety. If they get a bit of shade on them then they suddenly don't do so well. You only need like a strip of the mass shading it and then the whole output goes down. And you will see basically they're all wired up together here and then come down through this tube and into the into the um, into the boat. Now the problem that you've got is that if you wire all these things in parallel, so like one panel, bolt on another panel, bolt on another panel, the amps basically go up and up. The voltage stays the same because it's 12 volts, and the amps go up and up, which means that you have to get thicker and thicker wire the more panels you have. Now that's a bit of a problem because on a boat you haven't really got an awful lot of space to start winding really thick wires down. So what we did is come up with a nifty solution which is wire them all in series which I'll show you a diagram because that actually might make more sense. Hang on. Howdy. I was going to do the second bit of this video after climbing down off the solar panels but I got distracted. Anyway. Mm. Cheap bourbon from Aldi or Little winner. Winner winner chicken dinner. Actually it's not chicken dinner. It's pasta with hand cut chips and halloumi salad. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so we said the problem with solar panels on a boat is that the cables, the more panels you introduce, the cables have to be thicker and thicker. And that's the amps going down. So the more panels you get, the more amps you have, and the thicker the cable has to be. Otherwise, they get hot and burn and, and so on because you're introducing more power. Um, and the problem with boats is that you haven't really got space to start threading big fat wires through everything. So here is the what we did. Normally, you would have solar panel one. I'll move it. Solar panel one. Shit. Solar panel two, solar panel three. And your battery at the bottom. So there's our battery, our 12 volt car battery. And you would go positive solar panel, negative solar panel. Positive, positive, negative, negative. That's the traditional way of doing it. It's where how you'd wire your lights at home and stuff like that. So that's called parallel. And what basically happens is you get X amount of power going starting here. By the time you get to the bottom, these wires are really thick. And we have to wind these wires all the way to the battery. Now, what we did was solar panel one, solar panel two, solar panel three. And Mr. Battery, 12 volt. And we go positive, in, and then we go out, in, out, in, out, and then all the way back. 
and that's what we call series. So we put them in series. Now the problem with that is that it goes 12 volts, 24 volts, 36 volts. So you end up getting 36 volts out of the last solar panel. But the amps stay low, so there's no need for all this thick wire. So all this wire can be nice and thin all the way back to the battery. But the voltage is really high, and you can't have 36 volt going into a 12 volt battery. So what we do is we have a little special box here that takes high voltage, converts it back to 12 volts, high power here. So only this wire needs to be really thick. And it's only really short, it's about a metre in our boat. So that's what we do. We do it in series and create high voltage, low amps. Whereas the normal way of doing it um, would be to keep the voltage the same as the battery and have high amps. So I hope that kind of makes sense. But I think it's really cool because it's kind of magic. Both systems generate the same power into the battery, and yet this system requires thin wires and yet this system requires thick wires. But it's the same power, the same output. You're getting the same charge into the batteries. Kind of magic, don't really get it, but I know how it works. So that's cool. Right, now I'll show you our little magic box. Okay, magic box, woo, magic box. So this is our magic box. Forget the one in the back, because that's the old one. This is the new magic box. And so this takes in high voltage from the panels because we're cranking it up, you know, 36 volts, 12 times three panels. Um, then it goes from here to the batteries at 12 volts. And this little clever thing me Bob converts it all and does the jiggery pokery. And we can look here at the um, stats. Now we're not getting an awful lot at the moment because it's kind of like evening. Um, yeah, sun is kind of setting, so we're getting very little power at the moment. But the principle is the same. At the moment, look, you can see it's kicking out around about 36, 30, 40 volts. And then it's converting it oops, back down to 12 volts and putting the power into the battery. And if we go on history, we can see what we've got today. So today we yielded nearly a kilowatt. Um, we got 220 watts of max power and yeah so that's what we got today and these show what we've had in the past week and right at the top here total since we put the panels on about a month ago 28 kilowatts just from C so three solar panels that's like that's like a lot some houses don't even use a kilowatt a day um, so we've almost generated what a house would use in a month just from three solar panels. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so that's it, solar panels on a boat, but basically works the same principles for camper van and anything that's off-grid using a car battery, really. <laughs>